from $4,000 fish to $3,500 corals to new lights, new pumps, and serious advances in desktop jellyfish keeping, MACNA 2015 in Washington, D.C. had lots to see. And we'll take a look at the high points in this FinCast. <music> Kimmy Pure, I've used it for your years. We use it in our 47 tall fresh water. Uh, the water clarity is outstanding. Uh, I just love it. It's the only thing I will use. And very excited that you now have the nano size because I have a six gallon nano salt water that I'm going to be using it in. Hi, everybody. John here with another FinCast. You know, I've attended the MACNAs for at least the last five years. MACNA is the Marine Aquarium Conference of North America. They're held in a different city every year all over the United States. And I can tell you that the one that we just had in Washington, D.C. in 2015 it was one of the biggest and best attended ever. Maybe it's maybe the economy's turning around. Maybe it's because Washington, D.C. is just a big metro area and there's lots of reef keepers there. Of course, it's centrally located on the East Coast. That's got to make a difference. But there were a lot of people there, and all the vendors that I talked to seemed busy and happy. The corridors were full of people, and it didn't take long for word to circulate that a coral called a bounce coral, which is a sort of mushroom, was all the talk at the show. So it's a Worldwide Corals Bounce Mushroom. Um, it's, we believe it's a rhodactus mushroom and it has little bubbles on it that are neon orange and green. It's pretty amazing. Meanwhile, uh, Carolina Aquatics showed off a rare gem tang which sold in the low thousands of dollars. Where do they come from and why are they so hard to get? These are coming from the island of Mauritius which is a, uh, it's an island off the coast of Madagascar which in turn is off the coast of, of Africa. It's a very, very small island and they're endemic there. Um, you ha you're only limited to like two or three per entire shipment from this particular supplier. The only one that has them. Uh, and you have to spend, the, the freight from this small island is quite a bit more than anywhere else in the world so it, it makes them harder to get, more expensive to get. And once you do have them, you know, they're an amazing fish. But Aquacultured fish were everywhere. ORA had its usual stunning tank and a new t-shirt series featuring the work of artist Karen Talbot who was also at the show. In this case she had painted the ORA black ice clownfish. It was a very simple cross actually initially. We crossed the established black ocellaris variety, um, the Darwin ocellaris, with the snowflake which we had been breeding for years prior. Um, the combination of the two traits produced a fish that looks a lot like a snowflake, but there are, there's more black on the fish. Over at Sustainable Aquatics, there's a new Madagascar clownfish. Yeah, this is the first time we've had them leave the hatchery. It's called the Lata fasciatus, or the Madagascar clownfish. Looks similar to a Clarky, kind of an orange and uh, white striped fish, or yellow and white striped fish. But uh, a little bit interesting for the collector, something new that's not been made commercially available yet. And relative newcomer Pro Aquatics had gorgeous schools of lookdowns as they've had for a couple of years now, mixed in with the first aquacultured yellow clown gobies that have been commercially offered. We don't know of anyone currently offering, offering them commercially. Uh, we're excited about them. It's going to be tough to compete with wild caught price, uh, but they will eat pellets. Uh, they're not going to die in your tank. Uh, and they've got a lot of attitude for a little fish. Great nano fish. Great, cool. And then you've got some, uh, I, think, I guess these are hi-hats in here, right? Tell me about those. Yeah, very similar to a hi-hat. They're jackknives, but um, same family, uh, in the drum family. Uh, we're really pumped about them. We're not the first to breed them successfully. It's been done before, uh, but we're the first to offer them consistently on a commercial level. Jellyfish Art showed off a new design for desktop jellies scheduled to be available in late 2015. So the back zone's water level will be a little bit higher than the front zone's water level at all times. And in the bottom, we have a directionally influenced uh, channel down here that lifts the water up with the jellyfish. Um, so that gravity-fed back area gives uh, calm and even flow for the jellyfish so that they don't get all tossed around and tumbled. Um, and it, it creates a, a really nice house for them. On the equipment side, Ecotech has a new return pump that may change the way the industry looks at this product. One of the features is reduced flow at feeding time. 
But overall, what I see here is a pump that not, not only is quiet, not only is energy efficient, but it's introducing some functionality that we've never really looked for in a return pump before. Yeah, the Vectra has some, we put a lot of thought into the development and design of not only the pump itself, but also the software controlling it. And that software offers a lot of innovations, including pump calibration and setting it up so that you can move nutrients at the time that you want to. There's even a battery backup feature. So when you hit feed mode, it'll automatically come down to a trickle and that coral food that you want so badly to feed to your polyps and, and uh, uh, your, your soft and hard corals and the fish food is staying in the tank for as long as you want it to. Current will soon be out with a wireless controlled system where the lights and the pumps are talking to one another and they work together. You can put the pump into a stream mode where it's just streaming water. You can put it into a surge mode where it surges water back and forth. And then we also have a wave pulse mode. Uh, there's also feed modes and nighttime modes. And again, these work with our lights so that when you go into an on-demand lighting effect, such as thunderstorms or lightning, the pumps actually interact with the lights to uh, magnify the effect of the aquarium. And Kessel has an iPad-controlled light that looks more conventional than the company's pendants you might be familiar with. And this iPad makes it about as easy as possible to give your tank the exact lighting coloration that you need or want. But instead of just making a low-profile design, we also wanted to incorporate new features like direct wireless control, uh, new hybrid optics that give you up to a 48-inch footprint, um, as well as the addition of other accessories that can completely kind of change the way the light's delivered into your tank. And then on the medicine side, Mardell has a new form of medication that is actually attracted to the fish. We impregnated the chitosan with the matrix of natural oils, manuka oil, neem oil, limonene. That shrimp shell biopolymer has a negative charge and fish have a positive charge. So it actually serves as a carrier that brings the medication right to the fish, coat the fish for three days, skip over gas gaseous bacteria and not cause an ammonia spike inside your aquarium, therefore being reef safe and plant safe. There was so much to see at the show. So many gorgeous corals, so many vendors, so much to talk about. It was really hard to take it all in. Now, I've already done a couple of fin casts on the expensive gem tang and that very expensive bounce coral. Just click the box if you want to see those in detail. And then just about everything that I mentioned in this fin cast will be featured in depth in an upcoming fin cast. So you want to make sure to come back and check in often if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. So, by the way, also I want to let you know that Carl and Aquarius systems right now is working on a 400 gallon freshwater arowana tank and I'll be giving you a detailed behind the scenes look at that aquarium as well coming up sometime in the next couple of months. So thanks for tuning in. That's all for this edition and I'll see you in the next FinCast.